Debbie with Food Prepping Channel. Um, today I am doing day two of Crocktober. I am fixing some chili beans in my crock pot. And let me show you what I've got. I've got, um, well, you can see it's about a pound or so of probably a little bit more of pinto beans that I cooked last night. And I'm not feeling good today, so I'm letting Brittany cut this stuff up. And so she's got a red onion that, a red onion, a red pepper that she's cutting up there. And then she's got an onion that she's going to cut up. And she's got about uh, two and a half pounds of ground beef over in the pan over there that she's um, cooking and letting it brown up and then we're going to put everything together in this um crock pot and i'll bring you back when we get finished there you can see the red pepper and over there you can see the ground beef i guess you can see it yeah you can see that and Brittany's cutting all this up and she's helping me I got a sore throat this today. I don't know what's going on. My, I just, uh, this summer's just been really bad on me, and my, my arthritis is hurting me so bad. <laughs> I sound like an old woman in this in this video, huh? <laughs> but I, I just am not feeling good today, and so Brittany is helping me, and I really, really appreciate it. So I'll bring you back when we get ready to put things in the in the crock pot okay y'all we're back um all right so the first thing Brittany's going to put in there is one of my quart jars of my homemade canned tomatoes and that's just going in the beans and then a can of diced just a regular what size can is that 14 i can't see uh, 14 and a half. 14 and a half ounce diced tomatoes. Then we've got two cans of corn. And granted, this is not your usual um, chili beans, but I'm just doing something different. I like corn, and I've seen people put corn in their chili beans, so we're going to try this and see what it, what it tastes like. And we've got a packet of Chilio, um, French's Chilio mix that she's going to put in there. Corn adds corn. Yeah. All right, and then a can of kidney beans, dark red kidney beans that have been drained and rinsed and drained. And then a can of Armor Chili Beans. Wait a minute, that says no beans. Well, that's cool. All right, no beans, that's that's even better. So that's cool. So it's just Armor Chili. So we're gonna, and then she's got the one onion and the one red bell pepper cut up over there and in the ground beef, and that ground beef's probably gonna have to be drained. I'm not sure how much grease is in it, but more than likely it will. All right, and then this, we've got um, McCormick's dark chili powder. I guess about two tablespoons of that. All right, there's one. There's two. So she's just going to stir that up now and see. Might have to have more water in it or you think is it. Do you like your chili runny or thick? I don't want it too thick. That looks good, I think. Do you think? What do you think? I think it looks good. Okay, yeah. With the tomato and the tomatoes and the corn and all, it's giving it just the right amount of. Um, liquid in there so the beans it's gonna have to have some salt and pepper but um 
let's see. All right, and she's going to go on and let this hamburger finish, finish, and my phone is. She's gonna let the hamburger finish cooking, and then we'll bring you back and show you what we're gonna cook this on and how we're gonna cook it. Okay, y'all, now we put in a half a tablespoon of kosher salt and about a um, teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper, and um, she's getting ready right now to put in the, the ground beef, the onions, and the peppers. Wow. It's going to be full crock pot. <laughs> I've really never had um, chili beans with corn in it, but I'm going to do something even more different this afternoon that I've never had um, after this gets done. Now, this is going, um, it's going to go on high for... Everything's cooked in it. It's just got to be um, heated up. So I'm going to go on high for four hours, and that should be done then. And so go on and push that. Just push it down in there. Yeah, push it. Do, do I need more water? All right, so we're going to have to put some more water in here, y'all. It's not enough um, in here. So probably going to put about a cup of water in here and then we're gonna put the well she's gone to get the water so I'll bring you right back okay so here's a cup of water that she's gonna put in there and then stir it up make sure that it's like you know, grab it up from the bottom I hope it's going to have enough chili taste in it, but without, with, hopefully it will with the chili and the two tablespoons of dark um, chili powder. So, the package of chili Alright, so now you turn the power on. Wait a minute, let me get, her, get you down here so you can see. Alright, now turn it on. Press um, high temperature on the top is high. Is it on high? Mm -hmm. All right, and how many is it on four? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. So I will bring y'all back when this in three or four hours and we'll check it and see how it is. Do you want to taste it? Okay, y'all, I tasted this, and it's not very spicy at all. So I'm going to go on and put probably two more tablespoons of um, chili powder in here. And hopefully that'll make it <laughs> more. It, it doesn't really have too much taste in it now, so I'm not, even with the chili and the I would say it's got a good four tablespoons of chili of chili powder in it now. If it may be five, but my chili powder is not the freshest that I've had, so that may be why it's not not tasting. Yeah, you know, I'm not tasting it so much. So. I just wanted to bring you back and let you know that I had put more um, chili powder in it. And I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all. All right, I'm back. I decided that I hadn't even let it go the whole four, four hours yet. I'm just hungry and I wanted some. And I'm going to taste this. I don't want any crackers in it. I'm not fixing any cornbread. I just... This looks amazing to me. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Oh, did I? I can't remember whether I told y'all that I put in about a tablespoon of sugar or not. It has that little bitty taste of sweetness. It just kind of made this. Mm. This is the best chili beans that I have ever made. That corn, I don't think I can ever make chili beans now without putting the corn in it. Mm. This is so good. Mm. You've got to try this. This, um, this is the day number two of Crocktober. I made chili beans in my crock pot, slow cooker, whatever you want to call it. And this is amazing. You got, you just got to try this. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. And also, there'll be links of different things that um, you can purchase in Am at Amazon that I use in my kitchen. And also, there will be um, other things below where you can use a discount code and get um, anywhere from 10 to 25% off of things. And... Um, I hope you have a good weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.